And cheers, everybody. Here is the little surprise that we promised you. It is actually, it's a, a Pinot Noir that we found on a cruise ship. In fact, we are still on the cruise ship right now. And um, this was a, a real pleasant surprise. Oh, absolutely. And there's the wine bar back there that we discovered it in, thanks to a great sommelier that works back there. And you know what? This was a true treat. We had no idea because the Wagner family, the family that we love, that does Mer Soleil, Mayomi, all of these great wines, conundrum, that we've tried, true, tested, know and love with all of you, also made this wine. And we've never tasted it before, and he introduced it to us, and it's amazing. It's a Pinot Noir, thanks to the Wagner family, and it's called Bel Gloss, and you will see the bottle here. It's truly phenomenal and it really is a whole different brand for them but they've done yet again a Wagner family thing that they always do which is take something tried and true and then just change it up a little bit to make it even better than what it normally would be. And it's true because this is a Pinot Noir that is and we've talked about this before about being a traditional Pinot Noir. Light looking having that distinctive Pinot taste. This has the distinctive Pinot feel. You can feel it in your mouth and you mentioned that to me first. Um, you do get the Pinot taste but there's more to it. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, and, and for so long you and I have been saying you know we don't want a Pinot that tastes like a Merlot. This actually has a little bit of that in it. Yeah, well, it's, it's almost like when you first look at it, and look at it, you would not think this is a Pinot. You first look at it, and it's so dark and ruby red, it looks like a Cab Sav. It looks like a Cabernet Sauvignon. It does not look like a Pinot, and that's what's so tricky about it. And we it discussed this like with the sommelier. Yeah, if you smell it and you don't swirl it, when you swirl it, it brings out the Pinot essence and the Pinot bouquet. So once you swirl it, then you start to smell the Pinot bouquet. Yeah, and it's it's tricky because uh, mm -hmm. it, it's not necessarily, it's deceptive. It's not what you would think it would be. So you swirl it, then you get that Pinot, but then you taste it, uh, the mouthfeel of it, is what we were you just mentioned mm -hmm. and what we were discussing the mouthfeel of it is so like a pinot so you get that like smoothness that silkiness that pinot noirness and then when you when you feel that and you taste it you really know that that's what it is um you, you however, don't get the earthy you don't get the earthy tannin-y feel that you would get from a from a cab no or a, not at all or a Merlot. And the beauty of it is, too, is that the more you're drinking it, the better it gets. Mm -hmm. It's so delicious. And the other thing it does, which um, which I think is what our sommelier pointed out. His name we, is Nicola, by the way. Yes, Nicola. He, we discussed with him the fact of why would this be so. And he thinks they macerated it longer, which we'll can go into that later later on and um, explain all that to you in another they show. They mash the grapes more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we we'll just reveal it now. <laughs> the grapes are mashed longer and for a longer amount of time and harder mashing at the end of the day. So being that happening and that as it may, that is what we think in his theory and in our theory, and we don't know this for sure, Wagner family confirm with us if this is right or wrong, but that's what's caused this phenomenon of this it's, it's a little bit pricey. It's it's not it's not something you're just going to buy for ten dollars off the shelf. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a little bit more. It's going to probably going to open a forty dollar range. At the same time, too, it's it can go with so many different things. I mean, this this oh, whole this could, this right. would definitely yeah. hold up to a lamb. It might even hold up to a steak. Yeah, that's what we were saying. Uh, definitely a roasted chicken be phenomenal with. I mean, you know. We, we had some lamb at Jamie Oliver's restaurant here from New Zealand. That was delicious. I think this, this would have been phenomenal. Yeah. Yes, this would go great with it. Now, appetizers, entrees to dessert, you could have this. It's so good. And then the bottle is also really gorgeous. We're going to show it to you. Super gorgeous. Just lift it up here so you can kind of get it. Look what they did yeah. with this gorgeous wax. I mean, 
It's like Talk they stole creative. it from creative. They stole it from Maker's Mark. Oh. No, not really. So. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love the whole thing. I love the font they used. It's so Pinot-ish. So cheers to from Ovation of the Seas and Vintage's Wine Bar. Thanks for joining us. Bell Glass.